Hey guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shred. So I know that a lot of you guys have been staying in because of what's going on around the world, and I know it can be very tough. But I encourage you guys to stay physically and mentally strong. So that's why today I have a 50 minute shadow boxing workout for you guys to follow on. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, so round one is just hands as we are just warming up. We will be adding to the combo every 30 seconds and as we get into round two, we will be changing up the combo every 30 seconds. So the first 30 seconds is the double jab. Roll that lead shoulder and twist your knuckles. Make sure to breathe out in every strike. We have under 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and on to the next combination. Now let's add that cross to the combination. So we're throwing the jab, jab, cross. The two jabs are used to find the range and set up your cross. Now if you guys want to make this shadow boxing workout more challenging, try doing this on a small incline as I am here. I tried doing it on a bigger hill, but it was too tiring. So a mini hill it is. In my opinion, it's also more challenging when you're doing it on grass and wearing shoes. Four seconds. Three, two, one, and next. We just passed the one minute mark. We're now going to add that lead hook to the combo. So the combo is jab, jab, cross hook. Turn those hips on those punches. Left, left, right, left. Light and fast on the jab, jab, cross to set up a power hook. If you want to make this even more challenging, do this outside at a park in Vietnam where the locals walk by, stop and stare at you funny for 10 seconds before they move on with their day. Three more seconds. We're now past the halfway mark, and now we're going to add one more cross. So jab, jab, cross, hook, cross. We now throw the jab, jab, cross, hook light and fast, and throw 100% power on the cross. We are more than halfway through the first round, so let's go. Let's stay focused. Make sure your legs are planted to the ground to generate maximum power and fully extend those straight punches. Four, three, two, one. We just hit two minutes, one more minute to go. Because this is an MMA shadow boxing workout, we are going to add a sprawl after our combo to mimic your opponent shooting a takedown on you. So jab, jab, cross, hook, cross, and sprawl. After you throw your combo, move around and repeat. If you're doing this workout on grass, be careful of the little rocks that you might drop your hands on or sprawl on. Let's go. Jab, jab, cross, hook, cross, and sprawl. And on to the last 30 seconds of the round. We add another uppercut hook cross to the combination. After sprawling, we are going to mimic a sprawl and brawl counter. Defend the takedown and throw that uppercut hook cross. So again, jab jab cross, hook cross, sprawl to defend, then pop back up to your feet and throw that uppercut hook cross. Let's go. You have less than 6 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1, time. Take 30 seconds to a minute to recover before we start the next round. Alright, let's go round 2. This round we focus on setting up our low kicks with our boxing. The first combo is jab cross to the inside low kick. Distract the head with the jab cross and step to the side in the pivoted position with your rear foot and chop the leg. Make sure you kick all the way through your target. It might feel awkward at first, but you'll get used to kicking through and circling your leg back into stance. Let's try to fit in as many reps as we can. Jab cross, inside low kick. The next combo, we throw the jab to the head, a jab to the body, then back up top with a cross to the head and into our inside low kick. Jab, body jab, cross, inside low kick. We are hitting the head, body, and leg. The punches need to be real. The more your punches get your opponent to react, the more likely you will land that low kick. We just hit the one minute mark and now on to the next combination. Jab to the outside low kick. I call this the bazooka joe or a kickboxing style low kick. I don't kick through with my low kick but I just snap it and bring my kicking leg back into stance. This style of kicking has less power but it's much more faster. Let's go. Jab, outside low kick. Jab, 
outside low kick. If you're tired, move around, recover, and repeat. Jab, outside low kick. We just passed the halfway mark. Now let's set this low kick better by throwing the jab to the head, across the body, followed by a lead hook back upstairs before chopping the leg. Again, we are hitting the head, body, and leg now. So jab, body cross, head hook, low kick. Let's go. Jab, body cross, head hook, low kick. We got one minute left of the round. Now we throw the leaping hook to double step low kick. This type of low kick we are going to step to the side and chop downwards. Leap forward with a the hook, then take a step forward with your back foot followed by another step to the side with your lead foot and into your low kick. The double step is a great way to close the distance on your opponent. This time our low kick is going to swing through the target. And last 30 seconds, we are going to double our right side attack. We are going to lunge in with our cross and into a double step low kick. Again, imagine your opponent is backing away. You can use this double step to close the distance and catch your opponent. We got 15 seconds left. Let's go. Push it. Now it's time to stay focused. You can slow it down, but keep moving. Cross and into your double step low kick. You have 3, 2, 1 and time. Take 30 seconds to a minute to recover. On to round 3. We now set up our medium to high roundhouse kicks with our hands. The first combo is the jab cross lead roundhouse kick or you can make it a little more advanced by adding that jab as you step forward with your rear foot and into that lead roundhouse kick. Really try to swing your leg like it's a baseball bat and kick through the target. Now we're going to do the other side, jab cross hook, rear roundhouse kick. Use that momentum, left to right to left and right. After you throw your kick, you want to face the opposite direction. Let's go, jab cross hook, kick. We just hit the one minute mark. Let's go same side attacking now. Jab jab, switch kick. Instead of stepping forward with your rear foot to kick, switch your stance to load up your left leg and into your roundhouse kick. If you're tired, that's okay. Just move around with your footwork to recover and repeat the combo. Let's go. Jab jab, switch kick. Jab jab, switch kick. We are halfway there now. Let's now do the same side attacking on our rear side. Cross into the rear roundhouse kick. You can throw your cross right into your rear roundhouse kick for more speed but less power, or you can throw your cross and gallop into your kick to generate more momentum and power into your roundhouse kick. Let's go. Cross, rear roundhouse kick. Cross, rear roundhouse kick. We're on our last minute of round 3. Let's make things more tricky. We're going to throw the liver hook into our rear high kick. Punch the body and kick the head. If you're having difficulty kicking the head, you can try to lean more and bring your head lower to the ground to bring that leg higher. Or you can just throw the kick to the body. You will slowly develop that flexibility to throw high kicks as you continuously swing your leg as high as you can. and onto the sixth and last combo of the round. Let's throw that body cross to the lead high kick. Your opponent will not expect a left high kick coming after the body cross. Let's go. Body cross, lead high kick. You got 15 seconds left and then you get a whole minute to rest. Let's go. Body cross to lead high kick. and break. Take 30 seconds to a minute to recover and we will get into the championship rounds. In round 4 here we are going to set up our hands with our kicks now. The first combo is the inside low kick to the jab cross. This time we will not kick through our target, 
with the inside low kick because we want to set up our punches. So instead of kicking through the target, we're now going to throw the Bazooka Joe style or kickboxing style of low kick and snap it and drop your leg forward into your jab cross. You want your jab to land at the same time your kicking leg lands to the ground. For the next 30 seconds, let's add a lead high kick to the combination. So inside low kick, step down into your jab cross and then take another step forward with your rear foot and into your lead roundhouse kick. So inside low kick, jab cross, lead roundhouse kick. This is actually one of my favorite combinations. Let's go, stay focused. Inside low kick, jab cross, lead roundhouse kick. We're going to continue setting up our punches with our kicks. So this combo, we throw the kickboxing style low kick and into our lead hook, followed by another low kick. Use the retraction of your kicking leg coming back into your stance to generate momentum and power into your lead hook. Your lead hook should land at the same time your kicking leg returns back into your stance. Let's go. Low kick, hook, low kick. Low kick, hook, low kick. We are more than halfway there. Now let's add to the combination. Instead of throwing that second low kick, we are now going to throw a cross into our lead roundhouse kick. So the combo goes low kick, hook, cross, lead, roundhouse kick. Let's stay focused. Finished around. We're almost done. Last minute of the round here. Let's throw the outside low kick into the Superman cross. Anticipate your opponent will check your low kick. So you're not going to throw your low kick with full power. You're going to just snap it lightly and kick it back into your Superman cross. It will take some getting used to, but you want to balance your leg as you throw that cross. And our goal is to set up that big right punch. Let's go. Keep pushing that cardio. Don't stop now. We are almost done. Alright, last 30 seconds of the round. We're going to add a jab cross to the combination. So outside low kick to the Superman cross followed by another jab cross. Again, if you're tired, you can slow down with your combinations, but keep the flow and rhythm going and always keep moving. Let's go. Low kick to Superman cross, jab cross. Low kick to Superman cross, jab cross. You got five, four, three, two, one, and break. Take 30 seconds to a minute to recover before we finish the last round of the workout. In this fifth round, we are really going to push the explosiveness in our striking. The first 30 seconds will be short and quick uppercuts. Keep your shoulders and hips loose and really let those little uppercuts fly. Go, go, go. I want you to give your 100% effort. You're in the final round and I need you to finish strong. Now we switch to our double leg penetration step. Visualize your opponent in front of you and explode into your double leg. Step and drop to your knee, then sweep your rear leg forward to stand back up. Imagine picking up your opponent and dropping them on their head. Try to do this on both sides. Let's go. Now we go back to our punches and we throw straight punches. Jab cross, jab cross as fast as you can. Burn those shoulders. Let's go. Push, push, push. Make sure you are fully extending on that jab cross. Twist those knuckles as much as you can. We are halfway there, the last minute and 30 seconds of the last round. We are going to throw clinch knees. Mimic full clinching your opponent's head and spiking your knees into the body. Pull the head down as you knee. Right knee to left knee and left knee to right knee. You can also add in some quarter turns before you strike as if you're off balancing your opponent. Make sure you're breathing out on every strike and pointing your toes when you throw your knees. On to the last minute of the workout. 
This is MMA, so we are going to do burpees and sprawls. Imagine you're up against a grappler and he's constantly going for takedowns. You're going to sprawl, sprawl, and sprawl. Now is the time to push it. Keep the fight standing. Let's go. Sprawl for 30 seconds. Come on. Now we're on to the last 30 seconds of the workout. I know you're tired, but you need to push it. Let's finish the fight. Let's do flying knees. Your opponent is also tired. He's probably more tired than you. He's against the cage, and you're going to explode into your flying knees. You can throw a jumping scissor knee or a lunging knee. Focus on being as explosive as possible. You got less than 10 seconds left. Let's go. Flying knee, you can throw the scissor knee or the lunging knee. Three, two, one. And time. 